Hello everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel of Tribonet. My name is Manoj. Today, let us learn about oxidative wear. What is oxidative wear? Oxidative wear is the wear of dry unlubricated metals in the presence of air or oxygen. Atmospheric oxygen radically changes the friction coefficients and wear rates of dry sliding metals and there are several different mechanisms involved in this process. Instances of oxidative wear can be found in cases when a high process temperature causes rapid oxidation and the formation of thick oxidative films. Examples are found in some metal working operations such as hot rolling and drawing of steels. In this figure, we can see the oxidative wear on the metallic surface and also the debris formation. Mechanism of oxidative wear at low temperatures, the oxide films are extremely beneficial since they form rapidly and effectively suppress the adhesive wear. If a system operates under the mild oxidational conditions, wear is greatly reduced. The oxide layers formed are supported by the strain hardened substrate layers which are generated due to plastic deformation. At high temperatures, however, oxidation resembles corrosion in its high rate of reactions and can become a direct cause of increased wear. This rapid oxidation at high temperatures forms the base of oxidative wear. In this figure too, we can see the kinetics of metal oxidation at low and high temperatures and we can see that oxide film thickness increases as the temperature increases. In the figure 3, we can see the rapid oxidation of metallic surfaces at high contact temperatures. Oxidative wear depends also on the sliding speeds. At the high speed, the thin oxide films present on the unworn steel surfaces are rapidly destroyed and the friction and the wear rates increases, initiating a period of severe wear. Then, by some poorly understood process, the worn surface recovers and a state of mild wear is reached. Then, the thick oxide layers are established and the wear rate declines and markedly, when each oxide layer reaches a critical thickness, it becomes too weak to withstand the load and frictional shear stress and is removed during the sliding. And this as an alternative mechanism of oxide layer removal is due to the fatigue process which is initiated after a certain number of contacts with the opposing surface is reached. The sequence of the events are associated with the formation and removal of the oxide layers which is shown in this figure. Here in the figure we can see that at the spot 1 there is no aspirity contact and hence there is no thick film formation. At the second stage that there is a formation of the high spot and then the film matures and then the thick film fractures because of the oxidative wear. Now let us understand the mechanism of oxidative wear at low sliding speeds. The process of wear at low sliding speeds is particularly effective in forming debris consisting of a finely divided mixture of oxides and metal. Wear particles are formed and successively deformed, a process which creates a continuous supply of nascent metallic surface for oxidation by atmospheric oxygen. The mechanism of formation of such particles involving wear debris, oxidation and oxide metal blending is shown in this figure. Now let us understand the formation of debris consisting of mixture of oxide and metal. When the temperature is progressively increased from the close to ambient to several hundred degrees Celsius, oxidative wear of metal becomes more intense. The time necessary for the development of wear protective compacted oxide layers is reduced and the quantity of the oxidized wear particles and the thickness of the oxide films are dramatically increased. This is associated with increase in oxidation rate at higher temperatures. Usually, the fractured fine metallic debris which remains on the worn surface is oxidized and compacted into a glaze. As the glaze spreads over the worn surface, the wear process becomes very mild. And this kind of a practical example can be seen in the formation of the wear in gas turbine components where thermal cycling causes slow periodic moments between contacting surfaces. Here we can see the initial formation of the oxidized wear particle which is like strained surface with a nascent surface exposed through the fissures in the oxide films and secondary mechanism mixing of the oxide and the metal with the further oxidation. 
I hope from this video you understood what is oxidative wear, what are the type, different types of the mechanisms of oxidative wear and also the physical parameters which are influencing the oxidative wear. These are the references for the information provided in this slide. Thank you for watching this video and if you want to get more details on the topics related to tribology, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on our different social media pages on Instagram, LinkedIn and Facebook. Also visit our website on www.tribonet.org.